Hey guys and welcome to The Fish Room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and I'm here for a quick and dirty video to warn you or give you a public service announcement relevant to our hobby. It seems that zebra mussels have been being found within marrow mobiles, the algae moss balls that you can purchase at a lot of fish stores for the past couple months, most specifically at Petco's. There is, they've been found so far in over 12 states, and I'm sure those numbers are going to continue to climb, and this is a really massive problem. They're one of the most invasive species to hit the U.S. and Canada ever, and the problem is that they have a larval stage to their development, which are minuscule, so even if you pull apart your moss ball, look through your moss ball, rinse your moss ball, it's possible that larvae will be introduced to your aquarium and then potentially into local waterways. So it's incredibly important that if you had purchased a marimo ball in the past several months that you either freeze it, boil it, or bleach it in order to get rid of it. Now the scariest part of all of this is, is if you've already added these to your aquarium it's entirely possible and in fact incredibly likely that you will have introduced these mussels to your aquarium. And what PJAC, Amazonas Magazine, and pretty much everyone, including the US uh, Fish and Wildlife Service is recommending is to bleach your aquarium. And I know this sounds scary. I know it does. But we're gonna go over uh, how to do that. I'm gonna give you a few links to resources that have reported on all of this stuff as well as have the guidelines on what to do laid out for you. What you're going to want to do is get a clean bucket filled with dechlorinated water, net your fish, add them to the bucket. Then you want to add a cup of bleach per gallon of tank size to the aquarium and let it sit for an hour or two. Now you're not only going to need to bleach your aquarium, but you're going to need to bleach your nets or any equipment that you have used in that aquarium in order to prevent in order to prevent the spread of these zebra mussels. After an hour or two, you can drain the tank, refill it, dechlorinate it. You may want to double dose your dechlorinator. Um, and then you can net your fish, add them back to the aquarium. And then you want to bleach the water that was in the bucket as well before discarding it. And this is really important because if you happen to net some of the larva and then pour it into the drain, that's a problem. Now again, they've been found in 12 states so far. Um, it's not limited to just Petco, so really if you've bought them from any store, you should really be hyper diligent on this matter. It is our job to be responsible and ethical hobbyists, and this could be devastating for our local waterways. Again, I'll put links to a few different articles talking about this problem as well as the protocol for treating our aquariums. I should also mention that if you're worried about getting a cycle in your aquarium, if you have other aquariums, you can move cycled media from them in order to help reestablish the bacterial counts. You can purchase uh, bacterial supplements from any number of companies that make them. You could ask a fish keeping friend if you have someone that you trust for media or just be prepared to monitor your aquarium's parameters as well as do frequent water changes or utilize a filter media such as polyfilter which will both adsorb and absorb that ammonia should it develop in order to protect your fish from a potential cycle. Now it's entirely likely you'll be just fine especially if the aquarium was well established but rather safe than sorry. Anyway, I hope all of you are staying safe and staying well. Thanks as always for the continued support and I'll see you in the next video.